מוזיקה. Back on stage at the Opera Comique in Paris is Sibylette, an operetta Rinaldo Hahn composed in 1923. Intended as a nostalgic homage to 19th century French operetta, it was France's reaction to the flood in the Roaring Twenties of American musical comedies. It features the tribulations of the pretty market gardener Sibylette. Her pursuit of happiness leads her to come across a whole collection of typical characters from the Paris of the Belle Epoque. From the humblest to the most distinguished, such as Antonin, the aristocrat with whom she falls in love. Rinaldo Hahn's music is very refined. He was a great melodist and orchestrator. We revised the libretto only slightly just to make it less linked to the time it was written. It was also very interesting to see how such work can still move or amuse today's audiences and see how such music can still be of interest. Eclectic actor and stage director Michel Faux thus defends his unconventional artistic choices. People who go to the theatre or to the opera today do so because they want to dream and use their imagination. I think that putting on an opera or a play with a realistic approach produces the opposite result of what a play or an opera should be. I think that Ciboulette has a depth of its own. It talks about human feelings that are eternal and ageless. They may be bitter or absurd or excessive feelings. That's why I think it's ridiculous to play it in a flat, ordinary fashion, because an opera or an operetta is only made up of extraordinary moments. Highly appreciated for her musical rigor and artistic openness, conductor Laurence Equilbe actively fights for women's advancement in the cultural world. Being a woman and having a career in the music world is not a bed of roses. I do believe that all artists should take risks, but it's true that women probably have to make even more radical choices just to show that they exist. For my part, I think one needs to have an original approach and to be 150% sure of one's projects as well as being strong-willed. And you also have to convince yourself that you are entitled to the job because you're often tempted to doubt it when you're a female conductor. That's also because we belong to a generation where women were educated to leave the best places to men. Today, I think that young women have perhaps more opportunities. There was this role of the Countess of Castiglione, a courtesan, probably a spy too. She was stunningly beautiful and I told myself I was the only one who could possibly play her. I love opera singers and this is my affectionate way of telling them. In fact, real singers just love when I do it. I also enjoyed the idea of playing a dreadful singer at the Opéra Comique. I think I'm a rather tormented, melancholic person. At the same time, I also have a penchant for lightness, for the ridicule and for humor. But this goes hand in hand with one's suffering. It's also a typical cliché with clowns, where the tragic is always linked to the grotesque. 